None of this is true. And that's how, like, she said, I moved on, we broke up in 2015. I ain't the fuck, we ain't never broke up. Um, but she think we did. But she's saying this because this is really when we clicked. And I gave you many chances to make changes. But she really didn't. She never listened to what I had to say. She know that. Right? And she said, I choose not to make them. But when she was finally fed up. But she wasn't never fed up. Because I didn't lie to her. I done everything I told her I was going to do. And she still um, wanted to stay. She just needed me to figure out my part. <clears throat> Which I did. Because she already knew I knew my part. When she told me I was, I had to go ahead and do my part. And she couldn't do nothing else because it said in the prophecy. She said, I tried to be friends. But that didn't work either. So in order for you to move on, I need to step away. And almost four years later, you have still not moved on. So now, I ain't never had a problem moving on from no relationship. This is not the same. We bound by oath in heaven. And what they say was bound in heaven... Let no man on earth rent asunder. So I can't get past that oath. Right? So she said, you have a child that you need to put. So this is her giving me the marching order to go get the babies. Put this much focus on instead of me. The center of your attention needs to be him, not me. Now, this was goes directly to the grievance I had with his mother when she failed her judgment. When I knocked her right repeatedly. And she always knock back left she never did what was in the best interest to the child and that's why she she failed right <clears throat> and um i knew she failed when she had personal tragedy and she didn't even respond to it <clears throat> that's because she was one of the imposters that would sit down here as an artificial robotoid to confuse the rest of the people right she said i have told you many a times I don't want to be the center of anyone's attention. She want all my attention. I don't want someone that thinks I'm perfect. She perfect. I want someone that will point out my flaws. I already did that and she don't got that many and I already told her what they is and to fix them and she already fixed them. So I don't know what her problem is. You are not that person. She know exactly that I'm the one to do that because I'm the baddest motherfucker ever born. A person can't become a better person without someone telling them their flaws true right and you gotta have flaws somebody tell you something she worked on them because she did everything she said exactly how she was supposed to do it she was the perfect cat's part a perfect soldier she said you are completely opposite of what i need and and want in my life that mean to look in the mirror and come back is what she's telling me you took you took your need to change the total opposite direction in which you should have. You went exactly where you should have um, in this need to change. A real relationship about growing and becoming a better person. I have never wanted someone to treat me like I'm perfect. She wants somebody to treat her like she's perfect because she acts like she's perfect. I am not. She thinks she's perfect. I need, want someone to help me become a better person each and every day. She keep asking for me. See? She know I'm the motherfucker. I'm the one that can get her up to the I-10 with me. Right? I think I'm going to read her instructions because I think that's important. This might be the most important part. So I'm going to read all of her instructions. We're going to see what's happening. <coughs> so she told me she wasn't happy and I still did nothing. Right, so that was a neutral. I was apathetic in the relationship. That is correct, because I was going through the dark night of the soul. But after every dark night, it's a bright day after that. Y'all got to remember that, right? And so like I said many times, I don't need a sit-down conversation, right? She want to sit down and talk to me. I have moved on. Now you need to find out how to move on. And she can't move on. Let me see what Portia say. Yep, but I don't play games, Portia. That's what she's saying in here because she know I don't play games and I never have. Like, a lot of this stuff is for this purpose of this of this alchemy right here that I'm showing you. Don't get caught up in the human side of this. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the middle of the universe. I'm the pivot point right now. I am apex center. 
all motherfucking eyes on me. Y'all eyes gonna see. Because when I get done bringing the queen back up to her chamber, it's gonna bring everybody back out of hiding. Watch. Please move on and figure out what is best for you that doesn't involve me. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life dealing with this. It's over to move on. It's over time to move on. No talking, no working things out, no being friends. I don't know anything else to say. I told you many times why I was unhappy. She never told me why she was unhappy. She always beat around the bush, never told me nothing direct. So that's not... Um, um, she did tell me when she was happy, which is true. Um... And she didn't tell me what to do to make her happy, which is true. Um, how many times did I tell you I did not uh, like the fact that you get out of bed and go to another female's house every morning? How many, I wasn't, okay, so she don't want me to be getting up out in the morning going to other people's house. So this is what she's telling me. Because um, she never told me that before. So she's telling me that now. But I used to have to go take care of my son while his mama go to work because that was my responsibility as a man, whether I like it or not. He said, how many times did I ask you to sit and be honest and tell me about your life? I could only tell her about certain stuff, and she didn't ask questions. So she wanted me to sit and tell her about my life, but she didn't ask questions. So that's what this is telling me. How many times did I tell you that you needed to tell your baby mama that I was there to stay and she needed to back off? I didn't tell my baby nothing because baby mama nothing because she was no competition. So I didn't even think, I didn't even feel like she was chasing me. But she never told me that. But she probably need I, she probably want me to tell her that. How many times did I tell you you needed to jump through? You needed to stop jumping through hoops to make her happy and get it in writing with her so that we could create a life with our kids and didn't revolve around being happy. Now, the reason why I don't go to the courts is because the courts is fraud and I can't participate in the fraud or else I would have bumped left and I would have been back at square one. How many times did I tell you that if he was going to do something for real, we needed to sit and figure out the future? Well, we did all that, <clears throat> and you'll see in a minute what happened, because that all got to come into play. Now, from here, I'm going to go through this again on my own time, but I want to get to the pictures, because that's where, the, that's where it's going to bring the magic. The conversation here is a reverse conversation now. I went over enough of it, according to the elders telling me now, that now all of the things that was wrong that took place in that conversation going to be corrected when we get done. Now, <coughs> this was the last <coughs> message I gave her, right? Um, last couple messages I gave her becomes important. I think I should read these. All right, this say, you see, I know I'm not supposed to contact you. I know I'm supposed to contact you. I'm, I'm going to read it in reverse. Right? I'm going to read it in reverse so it'll make it y'all see what what is exactly what I'm saying. So it's telling her that um, I'm supposed to contact her in this new age, in this new era. Um, and um, we can let go of the past and make a proclamation to the future. So basically, this is the this is the ceiling of the marriage contract right here, right? You see you got her name. You see how formal that look. Look what it say. Now, this is the signature, right? Now watch this. The woman, double seven, right? Now, she sent me for her and the kids, right? But I still had to get two. That means I just successfully got her. Here you go right here. 108. 10 plus 8. Plus 1 is 9. That means that I end up taking my P. That's the P for the P-Stone Nation. That means that I got the key. I got the key. Right? 
All right, so now that I got the key, <clears throat> this was a contact I got, a knock I got from, uh, what's some islands over there? Uh, the Philippines. <clears throat> and the Philippines is covered by my connection at Sun Wukong and Hanuman. Now, when I was at work, uh, the final go-ahead came in. I had a little Asian lady and her, uh, a guy from India came to the chassis department and they called him um, uh, Bill and Kumar or whatever the hell that show is. But they called him that. And um, I sat and had a long talk with him and confirmed with the Asian chick the uh, Sun Wukong contract with the king of the Congo, which would be me, that goes back a long time. And I also confirmed to the guy from India that I was versed in the uh, left-hand pass of uh, Cali and that I had um, found my um, studies in the Kriya Yoga Institute and other places. So he went back and confirmed me. So this was my knock from them. And we got different time zone, you see? Because this is a lady... And she's sending me a master knock. <clears throat> right? But it ain't just her. It's a hundred plus masters. Telling me to. Now her name is India. You got to keep that in mind. And this lady's in the Philippines. So that's my India. Um, my Hanuman. Uh, Sun Wukong connection right there. Now look. Right past India comes the dog. Now remember, I had to also had to uh, show y'all Barack yesterday, but he's supposed to pop back up in here. So now this is a good mention of a dog. Now look at the imagery. At eight twenty-eight, that means that it was two women, right, waiting on a response, right. Then they got it. Look, eight twenty-eight. Waiting on the response. Then they got it. Now watch what happened. See the, the arrow points here to the AA. Right? That's both of them. So this is a this is a master student relationship in the two women that's giving me the support. And they're happy and saying, go ahead. <clears throat> and then right here, what we have? Same thing. Look, now me and her thing was drinking coffee together. I hate instant coffee. And the only person that know how to make it where, I mean, not instant, brew coffee out the pot. I like instant. But the only person that know how to make coffee in the pot taste right is her. It don't taste right when nobody else make it but me. So we, it's only two people know how to make me a cup of coffee out the coffee pot. Me and her. Every now and then, I run into a stranger. And then, look. Now, that's the little girl. Now, remember, we already caught the little boy. This the little girl. Look. Okay, now watch. I'll show y'all. I'm the baddest motherfucker in this motherfucker. Now, this was the vending machines, and there was some symbolism in here I wanted to go over, but I can't see it in here. But, I don't know. I might be able to see. No. Can't see it. But, this was the last place where we would actually spend some real time together. And, this was the last event. And, this is going to work us back to, to the future. Because, you got to you gotta do this. Alright, now. <clears throat> 842. Alright. Now, start at the bottom. This... These two apps, right, popped up on my phone out the blue. I, while I was looking at it, I seen them when they popped up. They just popped up. So now, Metro play. This time to play the game. What game? The Vice Land game. What Vice? The Vice Lord game, motherfucker. This the game your mama told you to play. Now, this is... Uh, Ema. I'm not getting that right now. But then to say, who viewed my profile? The bank. 
the country, Walmart, Face Secret, Palmistry Master, Track and Alert. They turned me into an audio book, an audio Bible. Look, D.H. Gate, that's Bill Gates, that's Microsoft's affiliates. Then, look, on the tarot card, I'm on this journey. I'm beginning as a fool. Now, I got to ascend and raise the... <clears throat> so, um, Mama talk, showed me a lady in a black dress or skirt. She a black skirt, a tank top. I'm going to talk about that for a second. I'm going to do a couple more of these. I'm going to do some invites. And uh, then we're going to get into the lady with the black skirt and where I got it from and what I think it means and uh, where we're going to go with it. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to do a couple more invites, give a couple more people a chance to get in here. Um, y'all can start sharing the video if y'all uh, really give a fuck. If not, don't worry about it. Um, if you don't give a fuck, then don't share it. Only reason I do videos, cause I'm really not the person that want to be out uh, on social media. I don't want to be on TV. I don't want all that shit. But um, I have to do what I said I was gonna do. When I promised my mama we give as many people the opportunity to ascend as wanted to ascend. And I would do that by showing them from my struggles and what I go through, uh, the phases of ascension by, as I assimilate um, ancient mythos into the self, they become one with the self. But only one person has the genetic capacity to carry every one of the mythos. You call them myths. The proper pronunciation is mythos. <clears throat> and um, the myths are the real holy text. The religion is the deceptive holy text. Now, both of them are needed because you need your religious text to understand what your mythos or mystery text or mythical texts are telling you. <clears throat> if you can't make the comparative analogy and the things do not become congruent, and, um, then you're going to be off balance and you're not going to be able to see. As long as you're off balance, you can't see. You can't see uh, the deception, the setup of the system, the way the game is played, and the way the game is um, used to oppress people, right, in the game being life, so, um, we're going to get into this, I'm going to do a couple more invites, because it's a couple people I want to make sure I invite to these videos, even though I don't want to do the videos, I have to do the videos, even though I don't want to talk about this shit, I have to talk about this shit, even though I don't give a damn who am them wants to participate in ascending to the fifth dimensional matrix I don't give a fuck but because I told mama I'm going to give as many people the right to ascend as would like to ascend now remember a lot of people not going to ascend not because they done anything wrong out of sheer um, bullhead stubborn ignorance that's it that's, that's going to be the number one obstacle to ascension for those who don't realize what's taking place, we are in the in this ascension right now. We are actively ascending into a fifth dimensional framework. But most people don't know it. You can't see it because it don't look different than the third. The only thing that's going to change is your heart and your mind. And your three dimensional ego self is going to disappear and you're going to see your true self. For the first time in your life, for some of us, some of us is even under the ego has strove so diligently um, on the for the path of righteousness. I'm done with the invites. Anybody didn't get invited, they don't need to be invited at this point. 
But anybody, I mean, some of us, even with this ego thing that kept us in the slumber state of ignorance, even with that, was still striving so hard to be righteous that when their ego leave, they're going to be amazed that they even had one. They're not going to even know they had one because they found <clears throat> that they strengthening their egos with righteousness. So they got an ego, but it's a righteous ego because it, they, these are what you call the ones with the golden heart. And, you know, so my goddaughter, I, I placed a piece of gold in her heart so that, you know, she can grow and flourish and be something greater than 